N4 HNH here. Um, shooting this for my friend Joel, and uh, but uh, hey, you know you guys might be interested in seeing this as well. Hey, Ham Radio Deluxe up there, uh, connected to my uh, FT DX 5000 MP Limited, and um, so. I can't remember if I shot a video about this the other day or not, but I've gotten even better at it now that I've used it some. So, you know, of course, you can control your your VFOs up here. So right now I'm listening at 10.119, 10.119. Now if I move the fader up there, you can see I'm changing the frequency. Then the mouse wheel can be used to do little incremental adjustments, see there? And you can set that range um so again what i was doing was right there you just grab that and move it left and right so um now there's the actual hrd screen you can bring up you know so there it is and it's even got s meters running on it too but i'm i'm over in the lock and then down here you got sliders to control the radio i'm in the logbook right screen there and I've got the uh, DX cluster running in the bottom, which is really cool. Double click one of those, loads it into your receiver. So if I want to work, uh, well, Liechtenstein, anyway, watch this. I'm going to see the frequency, 18070. Watch my, watch my display. Boom, dials it right up, brings in C, brings it up to CW and everything ready to go. Now what it, what it may or may not do is set the filters the way you want them. Yeah, it did. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm, I've got to figure that out. Um, I think it may just go to whatever the last state was in that uh, on that it uses the band stacking you know how each one of each one of these uh, band knobs here can uh, can have three different modes slash frequencies in them so I think it goes by whichever because it does use the it uses the band stacking so if I do another one it'll just use another one of those band stacking uh, um, slots. So I think what this is doing is returning to whatever the last setting was on that particular stack, if you will. I'll confirm that, but I think that's what it is. So anyway, I wanted you to see this. Um, so I've worked a few stations last night uh, and yesterday. Iceland, well, Bulgaria, Iceland, Belarus, Spain, Barbados, New Zealand, Republic of Congo. Some of these I did what I'm about to show you with, which is so cool. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not zoomed in enough for y'all to see that, but there they are in the log. So I'm going to show you what I really like about this. Some of you guys may know this, but this is new to me. So I am going to select, say, the um, Belarus, all right? And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to cl click on More and Google Earth. So you have to have Google Earth installed. Uh, do you want to reload or uh, see? I've got another one already dialed in here. Tell you what, I'll go ahead and just let you see um, the one I already have because you see I've got it color coded there. So let me uh, and lose any edits. Nope, I do not. Okay. So, but that's what I would do. I would just click on it and hit the Google Earth thing. Now, what's this? What you can do once you're in Google Earth? It draws these lines to the con whatever contact you are are wanting to observe. Now, the lines come in kind of gray looking, and you can go in and edit one by just selecting the line, right click, properties, and then I'm going to go over here. You see style color, change the color, change the width. Look at this measurement: six thousand eight hundred one miles. So you can see what the distance is between you and the other station. Oops, <laughs> I didn't want to do that. All right, so now I'll, I'll just scroll the Google Earth thing down to, where is that station? Okay, that's the guy that was in the, in the uh, Congo, TN5R. So it'll put his call sign there. And uh, of course you can zoom in and see his tower if you want, you know, <laughs> really cool. And so I, what I did was I saved this one as a file so I could come back to it because there were several nice long range contacts um, so there's the, there's Iceland right there. And then here's the one over to, um, this was, uh, Belarus. Yeah, but there's Belarus. EW7, uh, LO. Look at that near, near Lithuania, that neighborhood. So 
it's really cool that you can do that. You know, if you're if you're curious of distance and all that sort of thing. Now, you know, the logbook down there in the DX window, it cluster window, it gives you a uh, it will give you any a, a idea of the distance anyway. But that's really cool that you can do that, and you can see where you've. Uh, where you've talked to and there's my New Zealand guy so now check this one out I'm going to click on that line properties measurements 8175 miles so it's a really cool thing that you can do and I, you know to get right back I'll just go right back over to the logbook there we are so here's what I was talking about down here I mean it gives you the mileage if as long as you uh, the distance, I should say, as long as you have that loaded, and I converted mine over to miles instead of kilometers. But there's the DX window running live in the bottom. And as you know, with HRD, you can, uh, if you work somebody, once you bring them up on the screen, it's got a little add spot button right here. But while you're working somebody down in the bottom, um, you have a, uh, let me just pull up an ad. So uh, right down here when I work when I put in a station's call here down in the bottom You've got the add spot button and all you gotta do is put a comment if you want to so pretty cool how that uh, how that all works together using the um, Using the interface to Google Earth, so I just I just was kind of you know, it's new to me some of you guys may have done it before and uh, so I'm, I'm late to the party, but uh, I thought that was a really cool thing being able to literally go look and zoom in and maybe even see the guy's uh, towers. Because um, once in a while you can, I think people have seen my, and I don't have tower, but people have, uh, in older versions of Google Earth, you could see my antennas at least, the ones outside the verticals. You won't be able to see my wire antennas. But anyway, thought that was cool, and I um, thought I'd shoot a video and show you a little bit about that interface. All right, this is N4H&H &H saying 73, and I hope you found that interesting.